Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download Qubit Torrent and I'll show you some of the settings that I use. So to download it, go onto the, their website and then click the download button. Choose the, uh, the right installer for your operating system. If you get sent to this page, Again, just choose the right installer for your operating system. Once it's downloaded, click the uh, EXE. Click Run. Qubit Torrent is an alternative to uTorrent. Select your language, click next, click um, you accept the license agreement or I accept the license agreement, click next and next. Choose the destination where you want to install the program, then click install, click finish. If you get this notice, it's just telling you that uh, Qubit Torrent is not responsible for anything that you download. Just click accept. And you've just installed the program. If um, you want to change some of the settings, which I do recommend that you do, click tools, then options. and this is the settings tab a lot of the stuff in here is for your personal preference this part right here will tell it what to do when you double click a torrent and it's downloading or it's completed I normally just like to open up the folder so I select both of that for either state I like to start qubit torrent when uh, Windows starts up I don't want to see the splash screen. I like to start uh, Qubit Torrent minimized. I don't want a confirmation box asking me if I'm sure that I want to exit Qubit Torrent when the torrents are active. So I uncheck that. Um, I like to show Qubit Torrent in the system tray or the notification area, whichever you like to call it right down here. I like to minimize uh, Qubit Torrent to that location whenever I click minimize. Same with close and you can change the icon image in the notification area. You can change it to dark, light or normal. I like to associate Qubit Torrent with torrents and I do recommend that you check this box right here. It stops the computer from going to sleep whenever you have Qubit Torrent active. Click the downloads. I like to have a box whenever I add a torrent where I can select a few things, you know, change a few options to that torrent, you know, like what I want to download, if I want to label on it, all that stuff, you know, when I'm adding a torrent into Qubit Torrent. I do not want the torrent to start automatically. Um, change the location here for where you want your content to be saved to. For this tutorial or this video, I'm going to be putting it into a folder called Downloads on the Desktop. I do not recommend that people normally download to that location. I do recommend that you you tick this box right here, but it's your personal preference. What it will do is whenever you add a label to your torrent, it will create a subfolder within the location that you just set and it will move torrents with that label into that folder. And uTorrent does do that as well, but Qubit Torrent handles it a bit more differently. 
when uTorrent finishes downloading the torrent, if it has a label, it will move it to that location. Qubit torrent, it doesn't matter what state the torrent is in, it will move the contents to that location. Like in uTorrent, if I'm downloading a movie and I add the label movie onto it, when it finishes downloading, it will then move the movie that I downloaded into a folder called movies. And it will not move it again if I remove that label, if I change that label, that that movie that I downloaded will stay in that location. Qubit Torrent handles it differently. It will move it into a new folder that if you change the label, it will move it back into the original download location if it doesn't have a label on it. If it's downloading, it will move it into the location of what you've set, you know, the label. It just handles it a lot more better. I do not recommend that you tick this box right here. Same with this one. Just leave them alone. It's a lot better. Again, just leave it alone. Watched folder. Watched folder is a folder that Qubit Torrent watches. And if any torrent file gets saved into that location, it will automatically add that torrent into Qubit Torrent. It also gives you an option to download the contents of that torrent into that location. An example would be if I select desktop as my um, There we go. I don't know what happened there. Um, if I select desktop as my watch folder and I download a torrent to my desktop, it will automatically add that torrent into Qubit Torrent. And if I tick this box right here, it will download the contents of that torrent to the desktop. I use it sometimes, not all the time. It depends if I'm mass downloading torrents or if I'm just downloading one or two. Again, down here, leave it alone, but you can change it if you know what you're doing and you want to. I do recommend that you change the port. You want to change the ports to somewhere, anywhere between 50,000 and 65,000. That's an example. The reason for this is because a lot of programs use a lot of ports. The ones at the higher end don't get used that often. And they are also not blocked by your ISP. You want to leave this one checked to make sure the port gets forward for your router or router, however you want to call it. You do not want to change the port on each startup. You can if you want to, but I do not recommend it. The global limitations all depend on your download speed. Uh, download and upload speed, sorry. I will post a link in the description of this video to a website where you can find out what you should put for all these connections. Me personally, I just unt untick them. And again, you don't need to mess with anything below. Upload speed, I do recommend that you have an upload uh, cap and a download cap. You want it to be 80% of your maximum um, speed. This is so that if you're downloading and you're getting high speeds, you do not take up all the speed in your household. So you are not stealing speed from, let's say, your brother who is playing a game. You can leave these um, options alone. You don't need to mess with them. You can leave these these ones alone as well. Some people do say to untick them, but you don't need to. 
the reason why people say untickum is because they're talking about private trackers the uh, private torrent sites where you need to be invited or sign up to get on and download the torrents on that website these websites keep track of how much you've downloaded or how much you've uploaded they normally keep a ratio so you have to download a certain amount and upload a certain amount in order to stay active on that website and if you say you download one terabyte and you've only uploaded one gig you're probably going to be banned <laughs> and um, the, this used to mess with that ratio and it doesn't anymore because whenever you create a a torrent for a private tracker you you have the option to tick a box that says it's a private torrent and these settings get disabled within that torrent so whenever you're using public trackers these options are still enabled so you can leave them as they are I do recommend that you change this to required And for torrent queuing, I do recommend that you have this active and you will need to t uh, click the link in the, in the description of the video to get these numbers because they are different depending on your upload speed. Um, me personally, I just have them as a massive amount because I've got a massive internet speed and a lot of the time it doesn't really affect it too much. I do recommend that you tick this box right here so that um, it doesn't uh, count the slow connections. Uh, share ratio limiting. I don't like to touch it. You can if you want to, personal preference. It just uh, pauses, torrents, deletes them, whatever, once they hit a certain ratio. web interface I don't touch it you can if you want to now if you are on a private tracker you want to make sure that this option right down at the bottom is ticked it um, always announces to all trackers um, I had a problem at first because this was disabled and basically it was saying to the private trackers that I'm on that I'm not seeding the torrents that are not active. So you need that ticked. Everything else in here you can pretty much leave alone or change if you want to. Personal preference yet again. If you have a yellow icon down here it means that your port is blocked and you will need to open it up via your router sometimes you can just in, in, reinstall the program as an administrator that will fix it other times you will actually need to go to your router and open up the port this is different for every router you should be able to do it by yourself if not there should be a website telling you how to do it again if you can't do it I will do a tutorial but remember it's different for every single router thanks for watching like, comment and subscribe for more videos check out my channel I'm planning to do a lot of different videos hopefully you can learn something about torrents because they're all going to be around torrents and torrent content and torrent websites all that good stuff have a good one